Hi guys, it's Skill Jim. Just wanted to take a quick glimpse at the Shemu Passport SuperPass application that the SuperPass team have been working on. So this is on an iPad Pro, and um, this is the release that we're lining up for you. Cool introduction screen there. Press start button. So we've basically gone for authentic um, design. So if you've ever used the Shenmue Passport disc previously, um, back in the Dreamcast days, this is the online menu. Um, originally when you put the disc in, you had on offline features such as information, theatre and music. And at the bottom is a passport button that you pressed on and then it tried to connect to the internet through your Dreamcast and then this, that would open up the online features. So currently the only online features that we've um, added to the application so far are the profiles and the data review section. Oh, and also Nozomi's messages, but I'll show you those in a moment. So first things first, let's go for the familiar things, information. Now, these were originally sort of tutorials before you played Shenmue originally, if um, you wanted to learn how the game works. So there's two ways you can use the um, this screen here. You can use the arrows to flip between characters or just drag your finger. So let's just go with Shenfar first. Now, now, the videos are hosted on YouTube, so um, if you're connected to Wi-Fi, then perfect. Um, but just keep a, an eye on your mobile data if you're watching these videos while you're out and about. It's just the video content that's um, online, just to um, keep the file size of the app down. And um, it can also allow you to get 1080p video quality. Otherwise, um, you wouldn't be able to without having a, a ginormous sized app. So you can see it looks really nice, especially on the iPad here. Just tap out to um, Thingy to get out of that screen. So we'll go back. Theatre. At the moment, all the videos are unlocked here, but um, on the release version, the first f what, six there, the first six will be unlocked as it was back in the day on the, the original Passport, and the rest will unlock as you watch each video in sequence. So to avoid spoilers, if you've never played through Shemu before, it's probably best to not watch these videos because these are actual cutscenes from the game and um, like I say the full of spoilers. So these are the original trailers that came with the disc uh, in all their glory so if you've never seen these trailers before that's you know they're they're really great. I can just show you one here so this is the magic about the magic weather and time control so this was before Shemu was actually released. Very old fashioned trailer from 1999. And we're hoping to add more videos as we go along. Maybe add some Shemu prototype videos in there, maybe the watch Shemu. In Shemu, everything continually changes, just as in real life. So that's that, and like I say, these are the cutscenes from the game. You recognise some of these, obviously. All in crystal clear 1080p. So the music section was the last section that was available on the Passport disc offline, and originally came with, I think it's 20, oh no, there's 32, a list of 32 Passport songs. And again, these were unlocked as you played through the game, and um, as soon as you heard this music in the game, it would unlock and add to the list, but obviously we can't um, do that same sort of um, system. So just everything's unlocked in the music section from the get-go. Theme tune for Gory there. And we've added a, a My Favourite section. So if you notice, by each track there's a heart. So you can tap the heart for the songs that you, well, you love. I mean, what's not to love about every song, really? But if you want to make your own playlist, basically, this is the way to do it. So we've added the 
Shamu Jukebox. There's a separate playlist here, so this is all brand new. It was never part of the Passport, so we've added a few extra things on top of what was already available. And also the free song, so it's 15 free songs that you hear while you're playing the game. And any that you like, you can add to your favourites list. So now, let's play through these. As it plays through, it'll play through each in sequence, or there's also options down here to so you can have it to repeat a song, repeat you know the whole list, or play through the songs randomly. Uh, I won't be able to show you those features because we'd have to sit through like four or five minutes of a song. But everything's working fine there. You can play around with that, listen to some music, have it on the background. Um, and that is not using mobile data, so you don't have to worry about that. That's all stored within the app. So play as much music as your heart content. I'll show you data review first. So these were the first online features that we've added back to the Passport. Let's show you data review. So data review, if you're not aware, um, used to track how you were playing in Shenmue. So you'll see at some point below, at the top, just to explain, We've added some extra data review stats. I'll just turn that down a second. Um, that are based on Superpass app, so Superpass Live. So this is keeping track of some things that you're doing within the app. So number of times you've you've started the app. So 15 times I've started it on the iPad. Total time spent in the app. I've spent three hours 43 minutes in the in the app. We've watched 27 videos. We've watched seven information videos. We've played 28 tracks fully. Um, Options was the change in the how you want to play the songs, uh, random and repeat, etc. Number of tracks favorited, so that's the hearts and unfavorited when you're removing them from the playlist. Tutorial, I forgot to show you, but that the, the tutorial only um, only starts up the first time that you go into these sections. So as you go into the music, it'll show you the tutorial, and then once you close that down, it'll never show you again unless you request that you want to. There's like a little help button. So you can uh, manually put the tutorial back up. Character profiles we'll go through in a second. Um, we haven't received any new messages yet because the app's still in beta. Um, community page, I'll show you that later. Data review, it's even tracking how many times you've visited the data review. The about page, the main menu is a funny one. Number of times Nozomi's patted her hair. So you'll notice on the main menu, um, there's like an animation of Nozomi stroking her hair, and every time she touches her head, it's <laughs> we've added that in. We thought that's kind of a Yu Suzuki stat there that going above and beyond feedback. And then this is what I was on about. So, as you were playing for the game originally, Shenmue, it kept track of loads and loads of statistics. So, this is just an example from a real save file that we've um, took the data from a real save file. Um, so you can see number of times you're locked on when you were playing the game and this is like over a couple of plays so number of times walls hit 57 times and 643 times across all save files QTEs so you can have a look through this it goes on for ages Yu Suzuki went above and beyond stat wise tracking it's just really interesting seeing that you know in because that sort of data you, you don't have access to anymore, unfortunately. So this is one of the few ways of actually seeing what the online content of the Shenmue Passport was all about. So let's go into the profiles now. This is the second online feature that is obviously unavailable these days. And this is pretty much as accurate as you're going to get to how it was back on, back on the Passport disc back in the day. So every single character profile, there's 337 characters in Shenmue 1. And what we've done, we've painstakingly recorded voices for each of the characters to add a little bit more on top of what you've already got here. So as you go into a character, let me turn the volume up. So starting tomorrow, you'll get a 50 yen raise. So you've got the profile there on the right, some stats there, and then you just heard the character voice that we've um, recorded for at least for every character that has a has a voice within within Shenmue. And then every time you press on the character, nah, kid. 
Nah, kid. You got business here? We've added more voices. So you can have a little play around. Hey, you fish too? You want to know the secret to fishing? Patience. That's all you need. Okay, Golda. Get ready, Yasuo. <laughs> you promise not to tell my mommy? You can zoom in on the actual character model there. So there's, there's over a thousand voice files that we've added, so you can go through each character and have a little play around with all the different voices. Just read the profiles, and then this is the tutorial I was on about, so you, you'll see this when you first start the app. Okay, focus on. I'm really sorry! They came out of nowhere! Mandy. Hand over the mirror. So it's a really cool feature there. We've even added different kitten voices. Pigeon, seagull. One of my personal favourites is the bus driver. So the remaining features here, I'll just show you, we've got settings, so you can turn the background music down if you want to hear, you know, character profiles in full. Well, if you ever feel like sparring, just ask. Found it in the basement. I'll turn the music back up for now. Turn sound effects off if you want to, and speech is linked to the profile voices if you wanted to turn them off completely. We're going to the About section now. So this is some information about the app and who's worked... It's information about the app and who's worked on it there. And there was a little feedback button here. If you spot anything that's not working or um, you just want to provide some feedback for us, you can do with the, the feedback button there. Just send us an email. So in Nozomi Messages, um, basically what this is, we're going to send messages in the forms of like updates. So every time we update the app or add something new, you see these question mark, question mark sections. Every time we add something new, uh, we're going to send a message via Nozomi here. Press on it and then she'll have a new message for you. This is the, the first message that you start with here. And um, basically the little envelope will, will blink if there's a new message for you basically so you can keep track of that make sure you're not missing out on new messages and finally in the community now currently we're just using um, the community websites of the people that have been involved in the app so there's the Superpass main website you tap on that and it'll he head straight to superpass.com Phantom Riverstone um, and there's my YouTube channel just link from there basically Ooh, get rid of that. That's um, me and Switch from 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 Red the Zone. Um, we both worked on the app together. Shenmue Forever. He's provided some graphics. So um, these banners themselves, actually, Shenmue Forever has provided those. So you can check out his Twitter. I think from that button. Shenmue Dojo. Um, a lot of the character models. Um, Peter from Shenmue Dojo. Um, he helped to cut around the models and you know capture them in. The, the 1080p quality that the you know well the highest quality that we could capture the models in so thanks to Peter there and um, obviously you can check out Shemu Dojo from that link and then we've just added the the official websites for Shemu 1 and 2 and Shemu 3 just for anyone who's interested in keeping track of the actual games you can do so from there and let me just show you one of these so we'll, we'll go on Shemu forever and it should load up Twitter and it should load up there we go Shemo Forever's Twitter page. So that's basically the app so far, guys. We hope that you'll enjoy having to play around with all the features, getting stuck into all the profiles and um, learning about every character from the world of Shenmue, listening to music, playing cutscenes, 
watching tutorial information, and trailers, and keeping track of your data whilst keeping track of <laughs> community members as well. And there'll be so much more to come, guys. We're going to keep updating the app as we go along. But for now, this is going to be the, the first release that will be with you very shortly. So we hope you all enjoy it. We thank you very much for your support and um, your patience as we work on this. We're only really a, a you know, a four-man team. If you would like to download the Superpass application, you can do so over at superpass.com. Click the download request link, wait for the form to load, and start filling the form in. Put your name, email, and what version of the application you would like to download, and we'll be in contact shortly with download links and additional instructions on how to download the app in the near future. Thank you.